hello guys welcome back to this wordpress course <clears throat> this video will be talking about woocommerce payment there are lots of payment plugins depending on what you want to achieve with your payment system on your website there's paypal there's paystack there's stripe there's flutterwave there are a whole bunch of them so basically what my clients did, uh, requested from me was to include uh, a, a bank details, that's direct bank payment. So in order to set up your payment on your WooCommerce website, head over to your dashboard, go to your WooCommerce side menu option and click on set it. Once you come to this page, it's going to be deals with everything about your WooCommerce, all the setting of your WooCommerce is in this page. So we're going to configure payments. Okay, click the payments tab. Okay, there's cash and delivery. There's direct bank transfer, and you can once you install any of those plugins. Let me sh show you what I mean. Now, the, any of the Payment plugin, maybe to accept uh, credit cards on your website, if it's a store, you know, you come to this section and search the one you're using. Okay, let's say paper or let me just payment in general. Let's bring up a, a whole bunch of, yep, WooCommerce paper, payment, Stripe Gateway. You know, there are a whole lot of payments. You can accept Stripe payments, plugins for paper. So, depending on the one you want to use. So, let's say I want to search Insta Inter Switch. Remita WooCommerce plugin, WooCommerce Script Teller Business Payment, Inter Switch Web Pay WooCommerce Gateway. Okay, so. That's just it. The whole lot of payment plugins. Once you install it, set it up, go to the settings section, link your IDs and whatever you need to link in with the, the, from the company side to your to allow WooCommerce requests pass through. And that's all. So you can see this pay stack. So that's it. So basically my client requested direct bank transfer. So this is what I'm going to manage. And this is the section where you include your bank transfer. So definitely I'm going to include an account number here, include bank name, include everything. Once I'm done, click save changes. So with that, anytime a user goes to the checkout process, he or she's going to see uh, bank details for direct bank transfer. Once you set that section, the whole process is going to complete and a customer will receive email confirming the order. So to add to this video, I would love to look at the home page and see what else we can add. And also, I'm using this email plugin to edit all my WooCommerce emails, email templates. You can search it on your WooCommerce plugin repository. So I would like to add uh, maybe the products to list all the products we have. So why that loads? This is the plugin I'm talking about. You search it on your WooCommerce. It helps you to edit this section of WooCommerce, which is emails. In this email section, here you can edit the custom emails. You can disable them, you can manage them. So you can head over here to edit the words of the customers receive on the email. So this is the place for you to do that. 
So just head over to this section, customize email templates. I've already done mine, but any issue you face, always reach out to me. I'm gonna help you fix it. So that's all. So let's go to the edit page, the home page. I just wanna add, let's say a blog. So I, I don't know why the padding here is even uh, too much, but let me just focus on what brought me here. Add a new section, search products. Okay, here is it. Click updates. Uh, view the site. see how it looks so basically these are just one or two touches i wanted to include in this video you guys to watch okay here's it here are all the products so i'm just gonna add a title there and give this a padding so Okay, basically what I will do before I include this I'll try to include include like a row or something Yes, guys. So uh, basically, what I just did, there, I paused the video to look for what is giving me how to edit the padding, and it works. So this is how it looks. You come over once you click the block. You come over to additional classes. Add the margin right of three and margin left of three. Okay, so seems we're done with that. Let's want to add a title. Add a title. Okay, comes over. Title. Heading. Good. So yeah, this is just what I wanted to add. Product. Once the user clicks it, it takes them to that particular product. Yep, yep. Return. Can do it. Shipping. Support. Yes, everything is working as expected and i will download the seo so see you guys in the next course